Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, here we share good food from the Geordie kitchen. This is your weekly rundown of everything we've been having for tea this week, starting from last Monday, going all the way through to Sunday. So this is last Monday, this is some barbecue chicken. And we just had some barbecue chicken wraps with some salad in. Nice and easy, nice and quick, and healthy as well after the weekend. So that's just some cucumber and some chopped cherry tomatoes going on there. And this barbecue chicken is from Tesco. It's their budget range, but it's delicious. And that's just some mayonnaise. Just some light mayonnaise. And some bagged salad. So we had a couple of wraps. So that was Monday. And now Tuesday we had spaghetti carbonara. I had a few of these sachets. They were on special offer. So we got this one as well. We got four, I think, for two pounds. The Schwartz one, so this is their carbonara and it was really simple so I just cooked some of the pancetta, the smoked diced pancetta and then I, I removed it because I like to put it on at the end and this is the mix, you mix it with milk, you just put it in a saucepan or a frying pan and you cook your pasta and add that and this is a mix of whole wheat and ordinary pasta spaghetti and you add that to the to the sauce and you just stir it through until it all thickens and coats the spaghetti I just used a couple of forks and I just like to serve it up in a bowl, in a big pasta bowl even my son had some of this so that says a lot about a recipe if my son eats it because he's so fussy. A complete veggie fob. And it was a very generous serving as well. And I just put the bacony bits on at the end. It just looks nicer. And if I'd had some chopped parsley, I would have put that on the top as well, but we didn't have any, so we just had this. We had some salad in a bowl as well. Well, I did. <laughs> and some garlic bread. So that was Tuesday. So on Wednesday we had chicken Kievs. These are the chicken breast Kievs from Tesco. And they're absolutely delicious, really, really good. And these are their Tesco special potatoes, special baking potatoes, finest I think they're called. And a lot of broccoli, because we love broccoli. So another nice quick one. For Wednesday. Now first day we had pulled pork.
We just got the ready-made pulled pork. It was lovely, it was really nice and it's just so easy as well, you just microwave it. It's so fast. Everything else was the longest, everything else I served with it took more time than the pulled pork. So I made some barbecue beans. This is just some of that smoked pancetta that was left over. And this was only for two of us, so I didn't do a lot. And we had some of this barbecue flavouring, so I put a little bit of that in. I think I put two teaspoons in. And a couple of squirts of this barbecue sauce into those beans, and they were delicious. So we served that with with some sweet potato fries. So there's the pulled pork. And some sweet potato fries that I just did in my air fryer. I sprayed them with some oil and done them in the air fryer. those lovely beans, those cowboy beans. The lid still fell off. <laughs> and some sweet corn, just some tin sweet corn. And that was lovely. That was Thursday, so Friday. We had fish and chips. These are just ordinary frozen fish and chips from Tesco that I just cook in the air fryer. And this is some Young's fish fillets. I think it was haddock fillets. And some chip shop curry sauce out of a, out of a packet that you just add water to had that with a bread bun. Now Saturday we had a night out, that's where we went. Now these are a chain restaurant that are um, popular over the northeast. I think there's about 20 now. So I had the goat's cheese bruschetta. I've popped the prices up of everything. It was delicious, really really nice. It's like tomatoes and onions and garlic. Lots of olive oil and pesto, goat's cheese. It's absolutely delicious. I always get the same thing when we go here. And <laughs> so does Mr. Howie. And this is their chicken cordon bleu, which is stuffed with cheese and ham. And then it's dipped in crumbs and fried. And then you have a sherry sauce over the top of it. And the portion is absolutely huge. You can see how big it is in comparison <laughs> to the fork there. And we had some chips on the side. I never finish this when we have it. And there's Mr. Howie's chicken Valdostano in the background there. And they're lovely chunky chips. We didn't have a dessert, we were just too full. So this is Sunday. We just had the rest of that pork that I had tucked away in the freezer. And we do usual Sunday dinner. Some mashed potato mashed with a little bit of butter and some salt and that's some mashed swede and some white cabbage Mr Howie's favourite finally managed to get some <laughs> that lovely roast pork it was a loin of pork so we still got loads left for sandwiches as well and crispy roast potatoes we like them quite Quite dark. <laughs> a 
and just some ordinary sage and onion stuffing from a packet and frozen Yorkshire puddings because just couldn't be bothered, <laughs> basically. And my homemade gravy made with competence gravy salt and some flour, just a little bit of flour and the juices from the meat. It's beautiful. So for dessert we made some black forest rice pudding. I used a third of a packet of rice and a full carton of chocolate milkshake in the slow cooker for two hours. By the way I have a new video coming out this week for a giveaway. I'm just waiting for a couple of things to arrive through the post and then We'll be doing that video for a giveaway probably Thursday or Friday so stick around for that it's gonna be a good one so you just stir the rice through the milkshake you don't add any sugar or anything else this is all you need put the lid on let it cook away for a couple hours keep stirring it though and this is what you'll have. I know it looks like minced beef. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> now, Mr. Howie and my son just had it like this, but I, I judged mine up a little bit. So these are some frozen cherries that are just cooked down in, in a saucepan, just on their own, no water or anything, and they'll, they'll release their own juices go all lovely and compotty <laughs> so you don't add any water as I said or any sugar just cook them down and then you just serve in big bowls looks like a big plate of mince <laughs> and I added some half fat creme fraiche and that lovely compote and also some lovely shaved dark chocolate So that's it from me this week. I hope you've enjoyed sharing Meals of the Week with me. I will be back on Saturday, if not before, with that giveaway video. I hope everybody has a lovely week. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.